Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can convert some footage recorded on an iPhone in HDR, whether that's intentionally or perhaps by accident, and convert it to Rec 709 so that the colors look much more normal when you bring it into a video editor such as DaVinci Resolve. Okay, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so as I said, perhaps you've recorded some footage on your iPhone in HDR and it's very easy to do by um, getting excited and changing it in settings. And you can see that it's, you know, it looks absolutely fine when you pre preview it on the iPhone and then we bring it on, for example, to a Mac. Um, as you can see, it looks absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, the colors on the sky look absolutely uh, nice and normal. Uh, contrast is fine. And we also have um, quite looking natural looking colors on the building exactly as it was recorded because the sun was shining um, in it's sort of in a nice sort of summer's day which is actually quite rare in the UK but when you bring the actual uh, footage into DaVinci Resolve as we can see here notice that the colors look very washed out there's no virtually no contrast and it just looks you know much more dull compared to what it looked like um, on the phone. So what's happening is the uh, Mac it knows about this um, HDR recorded from the iPhone and it's doing a little bit of magic and kind of converting it so it looks good when displayed on a monitor. But of course when you bring it into a video editor then it doesn't know about it and it looks very flat. But don't worry the process is very easy so I'll just show you how. So I've got a couple of clips here and if we go to our media tab down the bottom and uh, we can see that both of these clips are recorded in Rec 2100 HLG, which is for the HDR uh, format coming from the iPhone. Now, if you don't have this um, input color space showing, then right click and make sure it's ticked here, input color space, and you can see that down here. Right, so that's what we need to convert between that and Rec 709, so it looks fairly normal. So what we want to do is go straight to our color tab, Click on this, perhaps the first clip here, and we're going to right click and we're going to add a serial node like so. So this is where we're going to do our color conversion. Then we're going to go up to the top where it says effects, and we're looking for this color space transform effect. Now, the good news is that I'm using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So this color space transform is available on the free version. Um, so, you know, don't worry about that. And then we're going to just drag that guy onto our second node and we should see it says uh, color space transform. We're going to click on the input color space, scroll down until we see rec 2100. So that is going to match with what we have in our media 2100. Go back to our color tab, input gamma, I'm going to set to rec, um, sorry, gamma 2.4. I found that gives the best result. And output color space, we are now going to change that to Rec 709. So that's kind of the normal color profile. And output gamma, I'm going to set that to gamma 2.4 as to match the other one. And you can see that our footage looks pretty similar to what it did originally on the HDR. So it's still quite washed out. And you know, you think, why? What's, what? What have we done here? Well, what we've done is we actually converted it from uh, the HDR format to Rec 709. So now it's a kind of normal color profile. So if you have other footage, for example, from maybe from the Pocket 3 or from another camera, and you record it in um, um, the normal color profile, or for example, on another phone, you didn't actually have the HDR uh, switched on, then this should now start to match with your other footage. Okay, so now everything's converted. What we want to do next is uh, just close down the effects, add another serial node. So there we go. And just need to tweak the contrast to bring it to look more like we had on the original. So I'm just going to bring up the, uh, drag up the contrast here. I'm going to set a couple of sort of midpoints here. So I'm just going to play with the midpoints a little bit. Uh, just sort of, I'm not really doing it with much care and attention here, but I'm just going to show you kind of the process to go through. So it's really a case of just trying to uh, match it to the original preview. Um, so I just need to probably bring down the mids a little bit. And we should have pretty much uh, much closer to what it was on the original uh, as we were expecting. Now, once you're happy with uh, the tweaks and you can do whatever you want in your video editor, then I'm gonna show you how you can quickly apply it to another node. And when I found this out, 
I thought it, it was pretty neat. So I'm just going to show it to you guys as well. So just select all the nodes and then uh, Command C to copy them. Go to your other nodes and just Command V to paste them in. And you can immediately see you've got the color transformed there and some already a little bit of contrast. So if you're recording clips um, in a sort of similar circumstances, then it already gives you a good starting point for you to then go through and just kind of tweak it as necessary for that particular clip. So it's, and if you've got like, you know, a whole load of clips is a quick way of being able to do that rather than going through the process for every single uh, clip. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can quickly convert a footage from an iPhone, from which you recorded in HDR footage, to Rec 709 to make it uh, work in DaVinci Resolve. Hope this video is useful guys and if it is of course um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks like this and if you have any questions let me know in the comments I'll try and help you and if you can uh, find a better way of doing this I'm all ears of course and I'm happy to learn as well so please let me know if you've got a better way of doing it and uh, so help all the uh, everyone in the community. Take care and I shall see you soon on another video.